Hello everyone and welcome to the sixth episode in the New to Football Index Start Here series, okay? So if you left off with the last episode, we then branch off into what we've called the People's Portfolio. There's a separate playlist on the channel, you can go find that if you want to get up to speed with how we arrived at this setup on the portfolio versus the last episode in this series, okay? And the topic we're going to go over in the next couple of minutes is setting targets and achieving them or holding yourself to them on your on your portfolio okay so as you can see at the top we started the, the safe core you would have seen has changed quite a lot we've started to consolidate the players that were moving ever so slightly up and kind of stagnating a little bit uh, into someone who is dropping down and we're trying to basically achieve on this player Declan Rice we're trying to achieve a, a hundred shares of him okay and the cheaper he becomes between now and us hitting that target then the better because we want to pick up a hundred of them for as little money as possible okay so with the safe core, that's something we've decided to move with going forward. We had small when the portfolio was much smaller in terms of the actual cost. That uh, safe core was spread across a lot of equal risk kind of players, and as a better opportunity to buy bigger into one of them has arisen, we have tried to consolidate that down and move that into the the cheaper option that still presents us with all the criteria we look for. Okay, and with Sancho, the same thing's kind of happening. We start we put him up for sale, and this is a little lesson you need to know about football index, right? I put him on to sell to the market with no reserve price. Okay, I had to set a reserve price, whatever it may be. What that means is when his price drops down to that reserve price, then the transaction is cancelled and he returns to your portfolio, not up for sale. Okay, so we've not put a reserve uh, a reserve price on him. And we did that at £5.11. So he's went back 11 pence. No one's bought him since we put him up for sale, okay? And that is the risk that you have sometimes with football index is that when you want to release a player, you want to sell them, no one else wants to buy them. And then you find yourself in the position like we've got with Sancho. So I think there's a lesson to be taken out of that little example, okay? Now, from Declan Rice down, that is what I call the people's portfolio. Bergwijn was my contribution to get the ball rolling. And then since what time we have had Camarasa, Odin and Maxi Gomez recommended to us. And then the watch list makes up all the players that we've had in the portfolio or have been recommended to us that we have yet to, to buy. We, have, we haven't bought any of them, okay? And we're just tracking their prices and seeing what they're doing, okay? Um, but with the, the other ones, okay, we need to set thresholds on the portfolio, okay? How much money do you want to earn per transaction and how much money are you prepared to lose per transaction, okay? Now, what isn't taken into consideration of what I'm about to show you is the 2% commission that you forfeit to Football Index, okay? So that's not factored into any of the equations that we've done. I normally factor that into every single equation that I carry out when I've been operating with my portfolio. But with this, with the, the growth and then the stop loss, how much we're prepared to lose on a player, we need to have them set in stone on the actual price itself, okay? And you need to have a mental note that be, you will have a further loss of 2% beyond that, okay? Um, but we're, let, we're trying to make it nice and simple, okay? So we've set a growth target of 19%. I exp I've explained quite a few times why I like 19%, okay? It's just a personal preference, that's all. Um, and I'll explain that further. If you want to ask me a question in the comment section, I'll gladly explain it in a bit more detail. I'll probably just do that anyway and pin the comment, okay? So look below, you should see an explanation of the 19% thing, probably. Um, and then we've set a 10% stop loss, okay? So that's where we stop losing, we sell the player, okay? Now again, as you can see with Jaden Sancho, Show we're not quick selling okay we are market listen and whatever that may be will be okay but if you look at Jaden Sancho's spread at the moment just to give you an example he's a more expensive player and more expensive players have bigger spreads okay so when he was um five pound eleven right his quick sale price i think was 496 or something like that okay so it's now went to 472 so you can see there's a massive spread on a, a more expensive players and you can see that right through the list okay we don't want to be quick selling ever unless it's an absolute emergency you need the money in two days from now and you just have to quick sell, take the take the hit and withdraw your money for whatever reason you might need that money, personal or otherwise, okay? But as we go back to the numbers we've set, so 10% stop loss and 19% growth, okay? And then what I've listed is every player and what that means to their price, okay? A nice easy way for me to keep an update on it and keep a look at it, okay? So as you can see, for example, 19% growth on Camarasa is 7 pence and 19% growth on Bergwijn is 28 pence, okay? Which on the face of it looks like a difficult, it looks like more difficult for Bergwijn to achieve 28 pence, right? But it actually works out pretty much an equal achievement in terms of 
how well you've done on that trade, okay? So for Bergwijn to move 28 pence, all that really needs to happen is that he gets linked with a decent team playing European football in a top five league, and we should pretty much achieve that, okay? Um, with somebody like Camarasa achieving seven pence, he just needs to really sign for anyone in the Premier League. And with what he did last year, and again, we've looked into that in the episode we picked him in, with what he presents, achieving seven pence is equally pretty achievable. You know, it's, they're both quite fundamentally easy things. Same with Odin, same with Maxi Gomez, okay? So we're quite happy to sell them at that price, put them on the market and sell them when they're on that and up, and it doesn't matter. You know, this is what is this is going to help you take emotion out of, oh, I'll just keep them going a little bit longer. Now, don't get me wrong, on your own portfolio, you always need to allow yourself room for renegotiation, okay? So let's say, for example, Bergwijn went and signed for... Um, let's say Spurs, right? You reckon he's going to get a lot of game time, they're in European football, they did really well last year, and they should, you know, they'll, they'll beat more teams than they lose. You'd think, I know they did lose a lot of games this year, quite famously, but you understand the point. If uh, Camarasa was to move to, uh, let's say, Brighton, you know, you could get seven pence out of him, no problem, you know. He'd probably move to a slightly better team with the people who were linked to him, like Watford, West Ham, um, Everton, I think, maybe as well, or Wolves. I Wolves. You know, seven pence is very achievable. Um, but again, when that happens, you may get carried away with the surge and you may get taken out and think, oh, I'll keep him a bit longer, keep him a bit longer. And don't get me wrong, you should all, as I like I just said, you should always allow yourself that room. But bearing in mind that if you can't convincingly convince yourself without certainty uh, with a, a, a great degree of certainty then you've got this to refer to and you've got this as your nod you know what I said in the cold light of day when he was only two pence up or whatever that if he moved seven pence or 28 pence then I would sell them and move on to something else okay um, and hold yourself accountable to that the more times you do that you'll regret it less times than you do regret it if that makes sense um, and overall the, the, the portfolio will cycle round in profit okay so thanks a lot for tuning in guys I hope this has been useful for you I have kind of babbled for the last minute so apologies okay um, if you're new around here please subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me if you find me on Twitter like share retweet all that good stuff guys um, I hope the portfolio for you is rocking and rolling summer madness stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.